Welcome to another episode of Honey University. Today's episode is all about bee pollen. You know, ever since my wife and I bought this honey company, people call us and ask, hey, do you sell organic bee pollen? Well, we never have. It's actually quite difficult to make bee pollen. I mean, actually, we don't make it, the bees make it, but to collect pollen is quite difficult. Um, but we finally decided to do it. And we're gonna show you today how we collect bee pollen. Are you ready? For years, we've been asked if we could produce and sell an organic bee pollen. We haven't done it because it's a lot of work. And, um, but finally we decided, let's give it a try. So this bee yard we set up specifically to make pollen. We will make some honey, but actually when, the, when we're taking pollen from the hive, the bees then spend more time bringing in more pollen to compensate for that than they do making honey. So how do we do it? If you look right here, we've added this component to the hive. This is called the pollen trap. So the bees go into the entrance and then they have to crawl up through a screen. And when they crawl through the screen, some of the pollen gets knocked off. There's a little drawer at the bottom of the pollen trap. And if you pull it out, look at that. The bees are collecting pollen from all sorts of flowering plants. That's why we have this rainbow of colors. They carry the pollen back to the hive on their legs, but some of it ends up in our pollen trap. <laughs> this bee's trying to get some of his pollen back. So this is the raw pollen. And in this state, it's actually quite moist and very soft. So what we have to do, we take it back to our honey house and we put it in a pollen dryer. We dry it, we clean it, and then we bottle it. It's beautiful. So making organic bee pollen is actually quite difficult. And if you go on Google and you search organic bee pollen, you'll find very, very few producers. The reason for that is any one of these bees can fly three miles from here. So you have to find a location that they can't get into commercial agriculture or even someone's backyard where they're spraying. Fortunately, on the big island, it's a very rural island. And with a little bit of research, we can find locations. And whenever we set up a new bee yard, we always test our first batches to be sure that they're cl completely clean of, of all chemicals. So what do the bees do with the pollen? The bees use it as a protein source to feed all their larvae. If you actually look in the hive, you can see how the bees store the pollen. Right up in this corner right here, all that yellow stuff is pollen. And you see they're storing it right next to the baby bees. This is all bee larvae right here. The bees use the honeycomb for multiple purposes. They use it to store pollen, to store honey, and to raise their offspring. So why would you want to eat bee pollen? Bee pollen is considered a superfood. It is super nutritious, very dense with protein, has averages 35% protein, really high in antioxidants. It has uh, flavonoids and polyphenols, all those great things that come from plants. In the medical literature, there are hints of lots of health benefits, but I can tell you they all need a bit more research. But there's talks about it being uh, good for rheumatism as an anti-inflammatory. It's antibacterial, just like honey is. But the bottom line is, it just really tastes great and it's good for you. This particular pollen is what we would call a polyfloral pollen. All the different colors are from all different species of plants. My favorite way to eat it, once it's been dried and cleaned, is on a smoothie for breakfast. I really enjoy it. It's got a nutty taste. It's really good actually as a garnish on ice cream, a garnish on a salad, and I'm sure those of you who are chefs can think of other great ways to use it. So give it a try. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>